and welcome back. Today I'm gonna to be talking about hair. I'm going to be showing you how I curl my hair. Now it's a lot shorter than it used to be. Now um, I got my hair all chopped off. It was just to like preserve the condition. But also, I really fancied a bit of a change. And um, oh my god, it's burning. When you go for like a style change or like a new cut, sometimes it takes a little bit. Uh, sometimes it takes a while to adjust to to how to style it and, and like the, the new finish as it was. So um, you know, I had long extensions and I had them taken out, and then my hair was about down to here. Um, and then I had it all cut the same length. Quite a lot of people have been asking me currently how I get my hair in that kind of like wavy, messy look. I know there's probably about 100 million how to curl short hair videos on YouTube, but I don't care. I'm going old school. I'm going old school Helen YouTube hair tutorials. My hair is nice and straight. This is it normal. Like it hasn't had any styling done to it. This is just it as it is. The one thing that I love about having short hair is I can just get out of bed, give it a little brush and I'm good to go. Because like, because it's at this length, it doesn't all get all caught and stuff, like on your pillow. Because normally my hair does need a little bit of attention in the morning like it used to. Nice brushed hair. Now normally, a lot of the time when you curl your hair, you, you'd like part it, like you can section it. So you, you'd curl the bottom bit and then you do the top bit. But I'm only gonna be curling the top layer of my hair. Just because this section down here, obviously if you, if you think about it, this hair at the top goes from right at the top to the bottom, whereas this hair starts here and finishes here. So there's less length there, if that makes any sense. So it just, it's a nightmare to curl. So if the curls are sitting on top, like the top layer, it doesn't really matter because if anything, this just acts as just like, I don't know, a petticoat for your head. You can't notice that it's straight. It's just hard to curl anyway. I just sprayed loads of spit there. It doesn't really matter. You can't even notice it. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So I, I, what I do is I take my hair and I part it into two like this. To tie this over here. Little pigtail. Keep that little dude out of the way. This is the hair tool of choice. This is my glamorizer, which is uh, lovely. It's a, a brilliant curling one. I like it because it's not too thick. It's got this kind of weird flat rounded shape. I've had it ages and I use it all the time. I like also that it's not tapered because I kind of want the curl to be the same all the way down. And although tapered ones, I find tapered ones are better on longer hair because you get more of a concentrated curl at the end because it's smaller. Um, something that's the same length all the way down is better, I think, for shorter hair. I'm gonna be using this dude, but first of all, I'm gonna spray some heat protective spray. Now, all I'm using at the minute is this Mark Hill styling heat protection. Um, it's a tiny one, only because I, I got it for Christmas. And it's just handy, it's small, and it just sort of, it's just there. This is the techers, so this is the important part. I normally start at the back, just because I want to get out of the way. And the, the, the type of curls that we're going for, or I normally go for, are kind of messy, like, voluminous. You know me, I'm never really one for going for smooth. Quite fluffy. So, I need to take smallish sections. So I'm even inclined to make that smaller. So. Sections like this kind of thickness is good for me. Now I've got quite thick coarse hair, so it is hard to curl it. So the smaller the section, the better really. So what I'm gonna do is wrap it around just, oh my God, I did it wrong. Wrap it around just once like that. And you wanna have tension on the top and on the bottom part. And just because that's where you want the kink. I'm just gonna hold it there just for a little bit. And there we have it we've got one curl. So it is basically just like adding a kink into your hair. So pop that one around the back. You can go over here and then just move along to the next section. So again, like a size, this kind of size is what we're after. And uh, again, the idea is you hold the curler upside down, press it against, you just want it around once and then again. And you kind of like, if you angle the curler once it's in place, so you can feel it pulling on each part. So you want it to pull on, I can't pull it, but on this bit here, and then on, ah, on that bottom bit, <laughs> and the bottom bit, I need an extra arm. You need it pulling on this bit here, and this bit down here. So whichever way you need to pull the curler for the tension to be on those bits, then you do that. So again, there it is. And if you want it to be extra 
like tousled or kind of messy you can change the direction of the curl so I normally go from the, that way but I can do it that way too and it will make more of like a messy unfinished kind of look which is sometimes really super nice it can look quite beachy I like to also let the hair just fall off the tongue itself rather than kind of unwinding it because I always get scared that it's gonna lose some of the curl. The smaller the bits of hair that you use, the more prominent the curl, I think. So you don't have to wrap the entire strand of hair around the wand, because if you do that, it doesn't really work too well. So that's why we just go for like two, two wraps. As you can see, that's a really nice, that's a really nice curl that's come out brilliantly. So like I said, you don't need to section the hair into like two layers, but as you're working around from back to front, just kind of pull through bits that are kind of visible if you know what I mean hungry yeah sometimes you can sometimes you can hold the curl as well just whilst it cools down because again it will the the curl will be more you know it will last longer if you you hold it up like this rather than letting it drop straight away you want it to keep its shape for longer so oh yeah there's another one wonderful you also don't want to get bits that are too like too wide that way you see like that might be too wide so I'm just gonna take that out and make it less wide just because you, you don't want to have like a really misshapen you don't want to have a misshapen curl who's this? hello? hi speaking alright so I've worked my way around to the front and I'm just gonna get my fringy bit here, so this bit for me is the most important part because it's like, because I wear my my parting pretty much in the middle. I like it to be really, really like wool. This bit, I really like try my best to get as curly as possible. So I'm gonna use even. I'm just gonna try and get as smaller parts as I can for this one because I, I want it to look really. So I've got these two bits here. These are the last two bits that I'm going to do. This one. Needs doing. Oh, it's not too bad. I might have to go over that last one again. As you can see, if I want to get even more volume or whatever, I can always come back and do other bits again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm just gonna work on this side and then I can come back and sort of perfect any other bits that I might need to perfect. Okay, so now both sides are done. I'm just gonna go over any bits that need um just a little bit extra. I keep turning it off with my finger. So that's why some bits doesn't come out as well. So I might just add like a little bit of more volume here. So I might just take the curler there and just give this little bit a little bit more. If you want a little bit more volume on certain areas, or a little bit more curl, you just take a smaller bit out from it and then do the thing. Way. Give it a little zhuzh with my hands. If you want, you can brush them out properly with a hairbrush. But I quite like the look of these curls today, so I'm just going to leave them the way they are. And I'm just going to grab some Kevin Murphy Session Spray, which is this really nice pink stuff. Any old hairspray will do. And just give it a little spritz, a little crunch. There we go. If you want to smooth the curls out and make them a little bit more smoother and feathery and kind of softer, then get like a soft brush like this to come to... Um, to brush through the curls if not you can use and you want them to be a bit more jagged and defined you can use your fingers or you can use a comb like this so that's how i curl my hair that was it i hope you found it useful thumbs up for old school hair tutorials i shall catch you guys soon farewell bye bye